Hello everyone, I am Bhushan Deeran from Informatica GCS team and I will be discussing about data subset, entities and groups on test data management. So the agenda for today's uh, topic is what is a data subset, entities, how to create them, groups and how to create them. So what is a data subset? So if you have a production data and you need a subset of the data but not the entire data, let's take an example that if you have uh, 1 million records but you only want a subset of it for testing, um, say maybe just 1000 records or 10,000 records or you want it on basis of time or you want be on basis of some employee, some department. So you can create a subset of data. But the most important part about the data should be that it should be referentially intact. So a subset of production data, if you need a small targeted and referentially intact copy of a production data to use in a non-production environment. And non-production environment could be development, test or training environments. So let's take an example. You might create a subset of company employee data for a specific department. Let's say if you have 2,000 employees belonging to different departments, but you want data only for one particular department. So you can create a subset for that. Or you can create a time-based subset database that might include the most recent payment transaction from all the invoice data in the production system. So this is subsetting. The next thing that you want to look at is entity. Entity is nothing but entity is nothing but defines a set of tables that are related based on physical or logical constraints. These logical constraints are mainly primary key and following key. Create an entity when you need a copy of data from related tables to a subset database. The important term here is related tables. When you create an entity, select the parameters to filter the data and columns that you want to include in the subset database. You can manually create an entity or use an entity from profile results. But for the scope of this topic, we will be only discussing how to create manually the entity. The next is groups. So what are groups? Group defines a set of unrelated tables. Create a group when you need to copy the data from one or more unrelated tables to a subset database. So let's say that your architecture contains some 10 or 12 tables that are not related to each other, but you still want to subset them. So in that case, we use groups. So uh, let's start with the demo. So here we have an entity. In this entity, we have four tables. The first table is entity department, entity employee, and entity employee address. These three tables are related to one another in foreign key primary key relationships. That uh, department uh, employee table has a department ID and employee address has employee ID in it. So let's see the constraints. Let's take example of employees. So there can be two types of uh, constraint. There can be two types of constraints. One is physical constraint, and another uh, another is logical constraint. So in this particular case, when the when the relationship is defined in the database itself, where you have created the tables, the relationship that you pick up. They are physical relationships. But if for the sake of creating entities, if you have, uh, if you want to create these uh, relationships in the TDM, uh, TDM, uh, TDM gives you to how to create a logical relationship. I have created one logical relationship over here. That is 
uh, the address and employee they have foreign relationship to uh, they have for primary key and foreign key relationship to each other which is not defined in the database so i have defined it over here it's a logical key okay so this is a logical key that is one thing and if you want to define a logical key you can just click over here go here add the logical definition of, of a foreign key that you want to so you have a conditional and a foreign key and then you have to parent table just select the parent table over here and you will get the relationship that you want to create let's take an example okay so and you can enable the relationship and just do next and when you do that employee id employee id and just connect to them and your logical physical and your logical foreign key relationship has been created since i have already created that i'll be going and clicking on cancel but if you click on finish the logical key will be created automatically cancel okay now there is one more table which is not related to other three tables and we are going to create a group for it okay now if you go to entity okay now the simple way to create an entity if you want is here go to actions and you have option of creating an entity over here hold on you have to go to define actions and there is an option of new or you can click over entities over here or you can directly click on an entity over here i have already created an entity for you guys so if you click on this you can see the relationship over here now if you want to see individual tables here you can see the individual tables and if you want to see the relationships and you can see the relationships over here now the major thing that we want to do for a subset is the filter condition right so here is how you define the filter condition let's take an example here if you go uh, can you see this so I have created a filter condition over here click over here click on this and then click on this so this is the way I have defined the physical uh, you have lots of operators over here the, just select the operator that you need so I have selected an equals operator and the value that you need to filter out okay and just to remember that when you want to create a relationship over here you have to do two things first when you select these two after that you need to click on this right to save it and then click on this only after this is your criteria saved click okay, okay. let's take an example over here if i have this particular thing if i want to create an entity over here take an example employee id equals one okay and i do okay see if you don't see this particular symbol over here this particular symbol that is a triangle up and a triangle down nothing will be created okay so just go over here do an edit and if you want you will have to do an Click on this and then click on this, then the condition will be saved. Okay. I press cancel over here because I have already created the conditions that I needed. And now I go on a group. Group is nothing but similar way. If you want to create a new group, just go over here, take this particular example, and you can create your group. Let's say test. Next, add tables and you can add any of the tables that you want but since the relationships have been defined so if you put any of these tables the group will also be pulled so I'll suggest just
just pull this particular table and be done with it. Because this is not related to other three tables in any way. No physical relationship and no logical relationship has been found. Since I have created already a group, so I won't be creating it over that again. Now, when you go to a group test, this is the this is how it's going to be. Now you create a plan. Now you go to execute, execute. This is the plan I have created for test entity. Okay. Go here. Actions. Alright. First to edit. I'll show you how I have created it. Since we do not have any masking components, I have not selected subsetting components. I'll select the subsetting components. You can select the masking and subsetting in parallel together, but for this particular thing, I'm just using subsetting component. Then you can go over to criteria. Here you can see that the condition that you have defined, you can see it over here. And then you go to plan settings. In plan settings, uh, make sure that your source connection and your target connections, they are different because it's a subsetting. So it won't take the data from the source and subset the source itself, right? So you need to have separate tables where you can store your subset uh, data. So your source and the target connections, they should be different. But if they belong to the same schema and if you see the same connections, then you have to mention the target schema name and the source schema name over here. For me, they are different. I'm not defining it. But if you have the same connections, please define the source key name and the target key money. Okay. And then you can click OK. And it is done. And once it is done, you can just go ahead and you can write generate. And the workflow will be generated. Now, next we have is a plan group. You can go over here. You can go. To this you can do it. I am creating, but you can directly click on a new plan and you can create it. Do a subset. We have this group subset generate. We don't have that criteria. Yes, here, uh, what you need to do is you just need to add first a condition. Uh, since I have already added a condition for the table, but here the table names are listed, so just select the table and click OK. Cancel. Then you can do an edit over here. You just have to select this, edit over here. And when you click an edit over here, you can do uh, edit and you can add the condition. Let me show you. Okay. the expression over here. Let's say salary ID is equal to two. That's it. And you need to click OK over here. And your plan is created. You can do actions. Uh, you need to remember one more thing. The same in the plan settings. You have to make sure that your source table and your target tables are different. And again, here that your uh, target schema name and the source schema name are also different. And then I click over here over cancel. And then you can go ahead and you can just click on generate workflow and your workflow will be generated. And after that you can execute the workflow so that your tables they get populated from the source table. All about it. So we'll be happy to have your feedback. Uh, so these are the. This is a email where you can send us the feedback for this, and also this is the Twitter account where you can go and you can uh, give us your feedback. Thank you.